great people down there. OK, let's move it on. Hen parties, are they as popular as ever, Kate? Before I get into it, look, there, there seems to be a perception, and I don't know if it really is the stereotypical view of hen parties, but you walk down the likes of... Uh, temple, bar. A temple bar on of a Friday and a Saturday evening. You see a bunch of women who are dressed as either nuns or dressed up in nurse's uniform, wearing T-shirts with Mary's hen on tour. They're utterly sozzled out of their brains. They're carrying in one hand a miniature penis and some other sexual device in another hand. They're slobbering all over every, every, <laughs> whatever bloke they come across in a pub. It's a fair, <laughs> a fair reflection of what happens, yeah. in, or is it? Fair enough. Um, there are hen parties like that. There's no point in me saying that there aren't. And I mean, look, we've all seen them and they're awful and whatever. But at the same time, there's another breed of hen party has emerged over the last few yeah, years. Don't the this hen yeah, don't hen party. Hen party. Hen party. You would actually be surprised Go what on. women are doing for their hen parties these days. Um, a big favourite at the moment is actually a cookery demonstration weekend where, uh, like, you know, you're saying we've seen... away a cookery no, no, weekend listen, for a listen, hen? Listen. The whole thing about hen parties is <laughs> the woman wants to be the centre of attention. She wants to have all her f friends, her relations around her, whatever. If she doesn't want to actually, as you just described, have the tacky night out in Temple Bar, at the moment they're looking for different alternatives. And so cookery demonstrations spa weekends away. Um, well, they go on the really lash, though, when they're on a yeah. cookery weekend. A lot of them would, but I mean, just maybe not, you know, down the street, sozzled, ogling at every man. I mean, it's okay to have a few drinks on your hen party and enjoy it. it no, depends. There's nothing wrong drinks. with that. Okay, so what's a few a drinks? A few drinks. Then? I mean, it depends. It's going to depend on the person. Class. At the end of the day, hen parties, I always think, say that, like, hen parties don't determine... OK, it's like the woman and her friends determine the behaviour, not the hen party. If you've got a gang of girls who on a normal Friday night are going to go out and get absolutely out of their but tree... But Kate, herein lies know, the problem. We all mm. have sort of different groups of friends. Yeah, we all yeah. have a few mad friends yes, and we indeed. have a few quiet yeah. friends. And when all those worlds collide, mm. it can get very messy. Mm. But then, I mean, does that mean so you don't go out with your mad friends if they're going to drink too much? Or, you know, I think... <laughs> it, but it's a fair point, I'm, as in, you know, I mean... It's, it's the women. It's like saying all soccer supporters are hooligans when it's only a small proportion of them throw the coins at the players on the field. You can't brand every hen party as a wild, raucous affair. Maybe you don't buy into hen parties at Not all. all. Not at all. Why? I mean, well, um, what did you do? Are you, do you mind me asking, are you married? Uh, no, I, I'm well, not actually. But okay, I if, you were a, having, if you were having a hen party, how would you I have I wouldn't it? have one. I, I wouldn't have so one. So you wouldn't probably, market um, at all? The way I see it is, um, and I, obviously it's booming business, mm. uh, it's obviously a great business idea, I'm not, you know, you're obviously on the money there, um, but uh, the way I see it is, it's kind of, it's a, it's a real throwback, it's a real old-fashioned thing. I mean, I really think, you know, um, that women should be having a good time with their pals anyway. Like, I don't yeah. see, it's almost sacrificial. Like, what is this? <laughs> well, well, what do you say? Do, the, what, is her life over what is, does from it the time they get married? the face the of feminism or is it just something tacky that women shouldn't be engaging? I think it's a mixture it's of all those things. I, I really think, and I think it's a stereotype. Uh, like, it's a cliche because cliches yeah. are true. Like, even if the women are generally kind of smart, refined, sassy, go out with their friends normally, they go Lula, they, drink why do them. they still do this? But yeah, I then, you know? The whole the, idea of hen parties was set up years ago when everyone, not just women, didn't go out as much as we do now. So it was a kind of a. Did they not? Little, it's, it's I mean, we excuse. always had Kayleys. We always had the women in the snug with the teapot full of whiskey. I mean, women, you know, they did. I think these things are kind of cliches. Maybe they uh, are, but I mean, the fact of the matter is, even if that's the stereotypical opinion of hem parties, I mean, I've been on a hem party myself where we sailed around the harbour and drank, you know, a few bottles of champagne, went for a nice, quiet meal. Jesus, there yeah, was that no, was a blast. But that's the yeah. thing. I mean, well, it actually was. But the thing is, is a hen party can even be a meal with your aunt, your cousins, sitting at actually, home having yeah. a. You know, yeah. if you were getting married, I'd put this to you, would you mark it in any way? Would you even have maybe a small group of friends over to your house? That's yeah. in theory a hen yeah, party. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you know? I'm a you know, yeah. alien in disguise, but <laughs> I, I probably actually wouldn't. Fair you know enough, what I mean? I enough. tend to get my kicks as I get my kicks. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I don't I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you strike me you know, as a bit of a party girl, are you? I, I'm just listening to that. I, I, I believe, you know, if, if somebody's getting married, it's up to them what they mm. want to do. Exactly. If yeah. they want to go and get trolleyed with their mates, Get trolley. Or if they want to sit into things. No, but if they want to sit at home, you know, and and just be and just have okay. a bit of crack with the yeah. girls, that's fine. Yeah, the you know, Look, we're talking honestly here. Let's put yeah. the cards on the table. Yeah. yeah. Do you believe that it's okay to have a last bit of a fling on your hen night? Yeah. Hands up, yes, no? Yeah, it's up to the girl. If I she... mean, in terms of fun, yeah. Well, the but guys have flings all the time. I wouldn't say, like, like you jump into the sack and do whatever, yeah. but a no, bit of a, a snog. bit of a snog and a bit of an out squeeze. And... That's up to them if they want to do that.
That's you can be damn sure the boys are doing it. it as well. I think yeah. you it's can, a watch out. It's a very male approach to it. And that in yeah. that any woman that's been on a hen party would actually probably, if I had a group of my friends sitting here and you said that, they'd probably They're all go, Alan, my God, you know, if my, you know. Yeah. It's a group of girls going out, having a night out, and it's called a hen party. Some of them wear gear, some of them yeah. don't. Some of them wear yeah. nothing. You know, I mean, so, yeah, but <laughs> it's, it's amazing. I think, I think, I think, I think also it's a bit you know. alien, especially to, to, we're going to gang up on you, Alan, you know, to men. That when, it doesn't have to be a hen's party because when girls go out on a night out, they have great crack. Most of you would yeah, agree. They, they transform. Yeah. Oh yeah, they have brilliant crack. Like, yeah, but what we do, we don't need uh, what, the sexual what, thing. We just have. Oh no, hang on a second. I'm not saying that, that you need a sexual thing, but I'm just saying, is it part of the norm? Is is it part of the norm? In and I don't know. I don't go to hen nights, but is it the norm that you get? Yeah. I did, yeah, but I mean, my stag was and very. You could get in serious trouble. I put it to like this. I ended, up, I ended up walking around Leopardstown Race Course at about three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's all I remember. Half of naked. It. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think it's a great point because I think generally it's like New Year's Eve or something. These things tend to be damp squibs at the end of the day, and everyone's gone out and spent like yeah, a shed load of huge cash. On the, yeah, and it's 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 just inevitably going to be. I mean, I must say, yeah, of yeah. course, people have the choice to do it, do yeah, you? But inevitably, it's a damp squib, yeah, and yeah. you know, it's a waste of money. Totally I think. What about when mum goes on the hen? I've seen that when the the bride to be brings mum on the hen. What do you think? No, well, no, I think she would know. Obviously, she obviously she knows her mom well, and she would know her friends, you know, and she mm. she know the boundaries that some. As you said earlier, like we all have mad friends, and yeah. we all have quiet friends. But is there friends. not some friends you want to keep away from your mom? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, well, I don't know. You know, it depends on the mom. I I don't think mammies would really go on a hen on a hen night. I don't I've think been, so. I've been on hens where mammies have been there. Yeah. 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 Kate, let me ask yeah. you this: What do you, what can you bring to the table to a potential bride who wants to do something different if in terms of a hen? Go night? on the website, basically, which is, which is henparty.ie. Okay. There's all sorts of ideas for people that don't want the big night out, who want a quiet night, who want something artistic, who, you know, there's artistic. ideas for... Artistic? Yeah, you can actually do art. Hen part, people will go at to, again, an art workshop for a weekend. Like it's just stuff a way. or just star <laughs> time? Yeah, no, 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 all very <laughs> tasteful. Just, it's, again, just getting the girls together. Um, it's, there's just ideas for hen parties, no matter what kind of person you are. Um, and no matter what kind of way you want to mark your last night before you can get married. Can you do married, it on the cheap, you know, Kate? Let's be honest. Absolutely. I mean, I know you don't want us to do it on the cheap, <laughs> but can you do it on well, the I cheap? Well, I don't actually organise them. I just provide the information. So I don't advocate, you know, expensive RT pen parties. But you can do it absolutely on the cheap. You can stay in budget accommodation if you go away. Camping hen parties are massive crack. Go down to Cape Clare with a tent. Bring a bottle of wine. The locals will <laughs> love you. Great. So much fun. Um, <laughs> is, is it fair to say that we're sort of seeing an end the... The Shaz and Trey, Newcastle Ooh, bunch of Absolutely. women who coming over to Absolutely. to Ireland. Is that we're seeing an end to that? Yeah, people aren't no traveling as much. Yeah, so. yeah with the stereotype yeah, sort the of. Fat flags. Yeah, yeah, you got the fat flags. It. <laughs> it coming to an end, yeah. Yeah, well, people yeah. aren't traveling as the much, bins. obviously. But I mean, women yeah. themselves don't necessarily want this tacky image associated with their hen parties. So it's coming from within the women themselves, not necessarily the people that are speaking about it in the media, giving out about them. You know, it's so you know, it's just they're turning classier. Uh, some of them. Sophistication is the a group it's of bizarre. Friends, it's bizarre. But even within a group of friends, uh, Kate, you'll have some people pushing stuff on other people. It's true. It's it's like true. Yeah. yeah, no, it is you true. Know, and I've seen going, it. Yeah. We know you want it. We know you want yeah. it. And you're yeah. only saying you don't want it. Strippers. Them. Anyone ever listening, if someone says they don't want a stripper, don't get them a stripper. Yeah. You know, if yeah. people aren't comfortable. Have you seen it? Or heard of hens that have gone horribly wrong with strippers? Um, I've just heard one story of a hen where she was upset. And what, she was crying? Well, she was just, she wasn't comfortable having the stripper there. So I saw one. One potential bride who was more than comfortable having a stripper in there, <laughs> and it just it got very, got very tacky, yeah. very unsavoury. Yeah. Well, there you go. She shouldn't be getting married.